morning everyone. This is Diane Murray at Southern Art Gallery. My students and I struggle with uh, getting proportions correct and with drawing. So I thought I would show you a basic uh, easy way to make sure that your measurements are, are, um, are accurate. This is a quick sketch I did of this, <laughs> this cute little duck. I have mallards that I feed every morning, so they are dear to my heart. And this sketch I did uh, just quickly to see if I um, wanted to do a painting of him, and I thought I would. Um, this, as you can see, my if you look at my initial sketch and the actual photograph, you'll notice that I painted him straight on when in fact he is, he's not a three quarter turn, but his head is slightly tilted to the right. So he's not symmetrical on either side. So I decided I would show you how to figure that out when you do your drawing. Here's my little drawing. Okay, so if I look at, first of all, a center line from the middle of his nose through the top of his head, We'll just put that there. You can see that he's slightly turned and there's much more mass on this side than there is on this side. Okay, you can see that, see how far, if you, if you, this is the, pro, this is the um, process of observation and it's, uh, it's a bit of a challenge for sure to get this right. I can set, I can see that this still isn't correct here but we're gonna kind of go with it. Let's see if I can shorten that a little bit. So if you go through and you just measure your different points. <laughs> so if I take my center line on here, about to the top of his head, so I pretty much have my angle correct there. If I wanna see where his nostrils are, for example, first of all, I check a check this to see how level they are and see I can bring this one up a little bit they're not quite quite as off there okay his eyes if you could you look at his eyes and you can see that this eye is higher than this eye this eye there's more of this eye showing and this part of his head is showing which is really important to get this side plane of his head in there so he slightly looked this way. You can take an angle, look at an angle of where his beak is, and if you look at the bottom of his beak, you can see that it, it's coming, but it's slightly rounded, and it's a little bit higher on this side. And if you look at the, his lip, his lip is a little bit heavier on this side. And all these things tell you that his head is slightly turned this way. Okay, and that is one of the hardest things to get right. The, the other most obvious thing is the distance between measuring your distances. So if I want to know if my measurements were correct, if I measure here, across here, I can see that that is a little less than one, but look here, same place, it's about half the size. So my width here is half the size of his, of his bill. So if I go over here, I check that. So that's one, so this could even come in a little bit more, like that, okay. This side, if I measure that, that's a little bit big, so I could bring that in just a little bit. And this is basically how I correct my drawing. If your drawing is not correct, your painting is gonna be off. So, okay, now that's too small. So let's check that again. That doesn't look right. Okay, check the width of his. And it depends on where you're measuring, of course, if you measure down here, here. So measure from the same spot every time. So basically I just measure that. And let's measure that right across his nostrils. So that's one and that's one, okay? So right across his nostrils and one. So he needs to be back about, about here. So more like that. Okay, clean that up. And I wanted to do this uh, demonstration on, I think I'm a little off here. Excuse me a second, let me get that right. 
see you've got a fat fatness right across under his eyes if you look right under his eyes if you look at the widest dimension of his whole head the widest point of his head is probably right above his nostrils so that needs to be the widest point point. and if you just go along and uh, keep doing this your uh, your drawing will be better so what and I've just mapped off these different color areas for the whites here and then the other thing to notice is because his Okay, I'm seeing that this is too too severe right here. So let's bring that back a little bit there. And the funny thing is you can see another person's drawing where it's off easily, but it's really difficult to see your own, to see where you've gotten things off. So it's good to, to uh, measure everything. And then you can see it more easily if you measure it. And also, if you step back and um, come back to it, the other important thing, landmarks, like where does this bill land on the overall head mass? You can see I've got this. Um, it's not bad. And how much distance between the, the end of the bill and the end of the bird. So this needs to come in a little bit more here. But I can't get this off too much, or then he's going to look totally wopsided. <laughs> So I think we better leave that like that. And your measurements don't have to be perfect. They just have to give a, uh, a look of realism. So I think we're going to go with this. I'm pretty happy with this. So anyway, if you're, if you're struggling with your drawings, take a nice clear ruler, okay, or an, uh, your pencil or your, um, that's, I'm sorry, I have watercolor in my hands, or something and measure your distances okay measure you'll notice that the top from the point of his head to, to, to the point of his bill is exactly the same as the point of his bottom of his bill to the top of his bill and you'll notice that in animals and people there's a tremendous amount of symmetry and if you can capture that symmetry then you can get more of a likeness so I hope you found that helpful the other thing I'm noticing is, see how, look at the, the blue tip on his, on his nose and how, let's see how big that is. Okay, so that tip is a, a little bit bigger than his eye. And it's about, let's see here. It's about the distance between his nostrils. So mine could be a little larger. And you see how it comes, and how high is it though? It's not that high. So it comes about right here. And this is a shadow line here that I just drew in, because I'm seeing that shadow there. And some of these light pencil marks are just to remind me that there is a side plane here, and that there's some shading over here, and this little triangle right here. Maybe more like that. And that curves around the nostril. So the more you draw, the more uh, accurate your paintings are going to be. So you hear everybody say, draw, 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 but it's really important to do. It's really important to do. Okay, so, and this, look how dark the edge of his bill is right there. Now I'm just doing this to remind myself and you'll see me erase it in just a minute which I know is kind of crazy but it helps me remind me and I don't want graphite on my initial drawing so when I when I've decided that my drawing is where I need it to be I'll just take a kneaded eraser and I will just roll it over the entire thing just to lift off, lift off any excess graphite but not so much that I can't see where my lines are and see you can see that my subtle shading is still there which is kind of cool okay so we're getting ready to paint him